hello everyone oh, welcome to the cloud network channel uh, today i am going to show you how you can uh, configure artifact registry in gcp so on the screen you can see this is a console of gcp uh, where i have already logged in with my gmail account and uh, you can use this uh, gcp with the prior version also uh, for that you need uh, any debit card or credit card also and once you sign up you will get uh, 300 dollar of free credits okay so i uh, already i have done this one so this is the uh, video on showing how you can uh, register artifact registry so simple method from the ui process i am showing you and uh, this is the artifact registry on clicking left side where you can find this artifact registry repository and for that you need to just click on create repository and there uh, you need to give the name here any name uh, like i am giving the demo name or the docker like for storing the image so this is the repository name and this is a format method which you can use uh, based on your uh, image like if your uh, docker file or that one is on docker format means you need to select docker and if your application is based on maven you need to select maven or npm or python or yum or apt go so uh, i'm selecting the docker and here is the mode which uh, you need to select with the standard remote or the virtual so selecting i'm um, standard uh, this is the region where your your image is storing so uh, you can select the multi region also uh, this is a single region uh, i'm selecting this uh, region one the los angeles and uh, los angeles and this is a uh, uh, multi region where you can see asia europe and us which having the multi region deployment so based on that one you need to select the region and if you want to add the label uh, you can add the label here by giving the key and value like that one and the encryptions which i'm using is google supported encryption method which i'm using so that required no configuration uh, it will automatically encrypt uh, the key from the google and you can also use cmek that is customer managed encryption so for that one see this is a immutable tax that means the uh, like if you want to have the tax version are uh, using any uh, version purpose like 1.0.0 uh, or 1.1.0 uh, like you want to use any kind of the version you can use uh, this one immutable tax and disabling that and this is a clean policy uh, which you can see the delete artifact and delete a uh, dry run so that means selecting the uh, when you delete the repository it will automatically delete this uh, artifact so i'm selecting this one that means artifact will not be deleted cleanup policy will be violated so that is i'm selecting here so just click on create it so it may take a few minutes so this is the process of creating the artifact registry the previously GC, uh, google cloud was having the uh, container registry uh, which has been replaced with the artifact registry and you can see the container registry previously it was running but it is going to expire soon this one and the new one is came is artifact registry which i have been configured on the screen you can see the size also show if you go inside this one repository name uh, where you can find the uh, image name will become here and then created updated connections and the details you can click the edit repository where you want to update and remember uh, the region you cannot change when you created the uh, artifact registry okay you have to just only you can select these uh, immutable tags you can enable disable and you can clean up policy where you want to select uh, delete or try run so the two option only you will get and then uh, the other thing set up uh, instruction is there we can uh, set up the instruction and refresh and this is also the show panel uh, that is will show you 
this is this going to expire this like i said continuously the setting you have which you can see the uh vulnerability scanning of the image if you enable this one uh what are going to uh, we have is that one automatically scan the vulnerability images whenever you push the images on this repository name so it will be automatically scan the vulnerability whether the image is having any uh, vulnerability or not in, in that one so this is a process of small video only showing on how you can uh, set up the uh, artifact registry using ui method so in the next coming videos i'm going to show you how you can create this throw uh, how to push the image inside this one through the get up actions or you, how you can create the artifact registry using terraform and all those things in the coming video so thanks for watching my video please subscribe to cloud network channel and share my videos to your friends and relatives